It's Joy again from Art Garage. I have another fun art project you could do at home. Um, we're going to make a butterfly. Woo! So, I have a fun book that we're going to read first, and then we'll get started on the project. Charlie the Caterpillar. It is by Dom DeLuise, and it's illustrated by Christopher Santoro. It's a great book. This is Charlie. Isn't he cute? Charlie the Caterpillar. Look at his little hands. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Alright. One day, one bright and sunny day, Charlie the Caterpillar was born. The world looked very, very big to Charlie because he was very, very small. Because he was just born. Charlie soon found out how delicious green things tasted. As he was nibbling on a blade of grass, he could hear the wind whistling and the birds singing. He smiled. He was glad to be alive. Charlie decided to set out and see the world, so he looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he went straight ahead. Soon, Charlie saw two monkeys. Hi, said Charlie. What are you doing? We're playing cards, they said. Oh, said Charlie, that sounds like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the monkeys. Well, why not, asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar. Now get out of here. Charlie, for the first time in his young life, felt bad. He sighed and would have shrugged his shoulders if he had any. And he looked to the left and he looked to the right and he went straight ahead. His monkeys sure weren't very nice. Pretty soon he saw two rabbits hopping around. Hi, said Charlie. What are you doing? We're playing tennis, they said. Oh, said Charlie, that looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the rabbits. Why not? asked Charlie. Because you are an ugly caterpillar and we don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Now, for the second time in his young life, Charlie felt bad, very bad. His feelings were hurt. What is ugly? wondered Charlie. He didn't feel ugly. He looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he went straight ahead. Those rabbits sure weren't very nice either. Just then, Charlie saw two mice playing miniature golf. These mice were so small, they had to play miniature golf. Hi, said Charlie, what are you doing? We're playing golf, they answered. Oh, said Charlie, that really looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the mice. Well, why not, asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar and we really don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Charlie, for the third time in his now not-so-young life, felt very, very bad. In fact, Charlie started to feel ugly. No one wanted to play with him. So, Charlie looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he started to cry. Just not, people are not being nice to Charlie. It's really not very fair. Charlie wanted to be alone, <clears throat> so he climbed up a tree and he snuggled up onto a small branch. 
He felt a little cold, so he, he went like this, and he went like that, and he went like this, and he went like that, and before he knew it, he had spun himself a warm and wonderful cocoon. Charlie was very sad about that ugly business. Why can't I have a friend? He wondered. Charlie was so tired from making the cocoon that he decided to take a nap. The cocoon looks nice and cozy, doesn't it? And all of a sudden, snow began to fall and to cover everything with white. Winter had come, but Charlie was nice and warm in his comfortable cocoon. Charlie dreamed that he had a best friend and that they laughed and, and had fun together. See how the seasons have changed and went from fall to winter? the grass began to grow, the flowers began to bloom, and the birds began to have a party in the sky. Spring had come! Somehow, Charlie knew it was time to wake up. So he yawned and stretched. And then, oh my goodness. Can you guess what's going to happen? Charlie looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and oh, he had wings. Beautiful wings, butterfly wings. Charlie had become a beautiful butterfly. He's so cute. But he always was cute. Charlie fluttered his wings and guess what? He flew up and up and up. He laughed as he soared past the birds having a party in the sky. Charlie was flying high when he came upon the monkeys who were still playing cards. the monkeys. Why? asked Charlie. Because you're such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Mm, no thanks, said Charlie, smiling. I gotta get out of here. He zoomed up and away. The monkeys jumped back, looking miserable. Serves them right, thought Charlie. He did a couple of loop-the-loops, and then he came across the rabbits at their tennis game. Oh, please, said the rabbits, won't you come and play with us? Why, asked Charlie. Because you're such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Not on your life, said Charlie. Now I gotta get out of here. And then off he flew, leaving the rabbits looking very downhearted. <laughs> Serves them right, thought Charlie. Now all of these animals want to play with Charlie because now they think he's beautiful. Hmm. And he was beautiful from the very beginning. He circled around for a while and then he saw the mice playing miniature golf. Please, pretty please, pleaded the mice. Do come and play with us. Why? asked Charlie. Because you're really such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Sorry, not today, said Charlie. I really have better things to do. Now I gotta get out of here. And then off he soared, leaving the mice looking pitiful. Serves them right, thought Charlie. They all wanted to be his friend because he was now a beautiful butterfly. They didn't know that he was Charlie the ugly caterpillar. If they want to 
be my friends just because of my beautiful wings, then they can't be real friends, thought Charlie as he fluttered in the spring sunshine. Just then, Charlie heard someone crying. It was Katie, the caterpillar. Charlie came closer. Why are you crying, he asked. Because no one will play with me. No one wants to be my friend, cried Katie. Because I'm an ugly caterpillar. I'll play with you, said Charlie, with a wink and a smile. I'll be your friend. You will, said Katie, the caterpillar. Whoopee! And then Charlie took Katie aside and told her all about becoming a butterfly. And from that day on, Charlie and Katie played cards and tennis and even miniature golf together. They laughed and had a good time, just like in Charlie's dream. Katie was happy and Charlie was very happy. He had finally found a friend, a real friend, a best friend. So cute. All right, now let's work on our project. Okay, we're back. We are going to make this butterfly here. Um, now, on this one, I haven't painted the background. We're gonna do that right now. So, um, you can take some watercolors and paint a pretty sky or um, a city scene or whatever. Just color it, make it nice, pretty, with whatever colors you want. It could be rainbow, let's put a little orange in there. And remember, the less, you have to put water into the watercolor palette in order for the watercolors to work. But if you want your colors to be more vibrant, once you get them going, just don't use as much water. So I'm just gonna paint sky whatever you want you can do whatever you want but we got to get that painted and then we'll work on the butterfly so remember when you add water to the paper it is going to curl up but don't worry once it dries it should flatten out a little bit If you wanted to make your project and post it onto the Art Garage site, that would be cool. We'd love to see what you're making with our videos here. I'll show you. I just did a nice, pretty rainbow-esque sky. And if you hold it up like that, can you see the water's dripping down? That's kind of fun. See how the blue is dripping down from the top? That kind of blends them all together. That's kind of a nice effect. You can do that. You can put polka dots, you can put zigzags, you can put stripes and whatever you want all over this paper. Let's just make it nice and pretty and then we're gonna let it dry, okay? Um, I'm gonna move this off to the side and get everything ready to make our butterfly, but we do have to wait for this to dry. So, um, Go play with your dog. Go do something fun with your sister or your brother or mom or dad or grandma or somebody. Go give somebody a big hug and smile. Smile and have a lot of fun, okay? Go wash your hands. Okay, so our paper, my paper's dry and you can kind of see that it curls up a little bit. That's not a big deal. Just turn it over and kind of bend it back and it will lay flat. Not a big deal. Okay, 
So I'm going to turn, I want my blue to be on the top, but I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see as I'm working, okay? Um, but we're going to make this butterfly, and I'll put that off to the side so you can just see what's going on here. Um, we're going to start off uh, with strips of paper. So we chose four colors, and we cut these into strips of about three-quarter inch width, and then we just changed, like we have a long one, and a, we, it goes down from long to short. So just make them different lengths, right? We're going to need some craft sticks, some old, some popsicle sticks, or a stick, anything that you have that could be the body of the um, butterfly. Um, we're going to use craft sticks, but you might find a really cool um, stick outside, or anything will work. We just need something to be the body. And then we have pipe cleaners to cover the body. Um, we're definitely going to use some glue, and then we've got little beads that we can put on the end of our pipe cleaners to be the antenna. So let's make the body first. So I'm going to take, if you have a stick, that's fine. If you have two craft sticks, if you have a big fat craft stick, like a jumbo craft stick, you can just need one of those. But we are going to use these and I'm going to, I'm going to choose black, but you can choose uh, any colors that you want. On this one, you can see we kind of did rainbow colors. That's fine. Um, I'm going to use black for this one, but that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. You can do anything you want. We'll tape them together first just so they stay together. Um, so having a roll of tape handy is also pretty good. Pretty good idea. So we tape that together, and now we're just going to wrap it. Leave a little bit at the top so that we can put something on for antennas. But you see I'm just going to wrap this around so that it starts to cover the pipe cleaners. I mean, so that it starts to cover the craft sticks. And then, just keep going. going to be the antenna. So I'm going to take it about halfway. So I put it, the pipe cleaners, so that it's equal on each side with the craft sticks in the middle. And I'm going to wrap this around and then wrap the other one around. And if you wanted to, you could color the tips of the craft sticks so that they look the color of your pipe cleaners. That might be kind of cool. Maybe do it on both sides. Maybe you can even put a little face on that. That might be fun. Some big old butterfly eyeballs. All right. So there's our body. The beads go on the ends. So you just Put the bead on the pipe cleaner, like that, and then just bend the pipe cleaner over it so that it doesn't come off. Do that on the other side. Right? And then you can kind of bend these around in a fun way. Whoops! <laughs> No worries, if that happens, just put it back on. That's kind of fun. All right, so we're gonna put that off to the side for now. And now we're gonna take our shortest strip. So our shortest strip is the yellow one. And all you're gonna do is take your glue and you're gonna go, just make a little tiny dot like that and then push it together. 
So I made a loop. Okay, and then you're going to put a tiny dot of glue on your paper. You gotta hold it there a little bit. Don't use too much glue. If you use too much glue, it's just gonna smear all around and it's not gonna dry very fast. You don't need that much glue. It's just paper, right? You kind of see that I put it sort of in the middle, okay? And now I'm gonna take another one, another strip, do the same thing. See, I have my little dot of glue. I don't need very much. And I'm gonna push that together. And then on the other side of where that one was, I have a tiny dot of glue. And then I'm gonna put the other one there. And if it's not perfectly centered, that's okay. Like mine isn't perfectly centered, but it's good enough. Okay? All right, and we're going to keep doing that. So I'm gonna put all my short ones in right now. You might have to hold it there for a minute. Count to 10. All right, I'm gonna keep doing these. All right, and tiny dot of glue. And a tiny dot of glue. I'm gonna, you understand, tiny dot of glue. So I'm not, I don't have to keep saying that every time, so you guys know that. No of glue, because it's never gonna dry. So just boops of glue, little tiny drops. Is all you need and then hold it there and move on to the next one. Because this is white on the back, I'm going to put the glue on the white part because I want the colored part to show. Okay. You guys could also color your own strips of paper. You could do like Matisse and paint pieces of paper that you can use if you don't have construction paper. Color it somehow. You can use crayons to color it. You can use watercolor to color it. Okay, so on the next strip, you do the same thing um, and try to put a little bit of glue on the back, a tiny drop of glue, you don't need much, and you're going to slide it underneath the whatever color you use. I'm going to say the yellow ones, okay? So whatever color you use, you slide the next color underneath and you have to hold it down. You see how we're starting to make the colors? So we're going to keep doing that. It takes a long time but it's gonna be worth it, it'll be a beautiful butterfly. dark yellows, but I don't think we need any more of that. So now I'm going to move on to the next color. I'm going to move on to some purple. Okay? If you make too many strips, save them so you can make another butterfly. Maybe a smaller one. Or cut more strips. Just give yourself a head start on the ones that you left that are left over.
have some extra strips that we could use for another butterfly. Um, so what it ended up being was we have one, two, three, four, five, six, ten of the light yellow strips. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the darker yellow strips. And you can kind of fluff those out a little bit. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of the purple strips. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of the red strips. We just kind of added one or so as we moved. All right, so now, so this is the, that's what it's, the wings look like. Okay, and now we're going to put the body on. Now, take your glue and just put a bunch of glue in the middle and then you just drop that in, push down. And then you have to wait. You have to be patient because this glue takes a lot of time to dry. So it'd be a good idea to go play a game or go take a nap or go have a snack or maybe it's lunchtime for you, maybe it's dinner time for you. Do something while we're waiting for everything to dry and then you'll be able to put this up. Now if you wanted to, you could add a little face in there, cut out a little paper face and stick it on there, or maybe you want to put some stickers up in the background, however you want to finish the decoration on this. It's up to you, it's your art. So there is our butterfly. So we just made this really great butterfly project, and we wanted to let you know at our garage we are going to be offering some kits. Um, we're going to be putting all the supplies for this project in a bag like this, it will be labeled Butterfly. Um, and inside this bag, there will be a piece of paper, watercolor paper, a watercolor uh, palette and with a brush, um, various pipe cleaners. I can't promise you you'll get the color that you want, but we'll have some in there for you. Uh, various strips of uh, different of colors that we've chosen, but if you choose to do this again, or if you have more than one child in your household, you could cut these strips out of other colors of paper. It's about three quarters inch wide and various lengths. Um, but that will be in the kit. We'll have some craft sticks, um, but again, like you can use a stick from outside if you have that. Um, there'll be a little uh, cup of glue uh, with some q-tips that you guys can use for gluing. Um, all this stuff will be inside a kit like this and if you choose to come and grab one of these, donate to Art Garage. Um, we would really appreciate that. Um, we, we, um, we miss our kids and this is a great way at least for them to see us. We hope you come by and grab a kit and make lots of these things. You guys can cut your own papers and everything. Um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, um, and we hope to see you back here again. Uh, we'll have various projects up, and we'd love for you to join us uh, this way in making some really fun projects with your kids. So, 